You're watching 7 News at 10 in HD. Cotton County's Scooter Bivens is anxiously waiting to find out if his TV show Mudcats is picked up for a second season by the History Channel. It's not your typical fishing show. Scooter jumps in the water and fishes with his hands. It's called noodling. 7 News reporter Scott Miller went with Scooter to see how it's done. Scott? Well, Anna, I did a little research before we went noodling and then quickly decided that I would be better off in the boat. But a conversation with a 7 News co-worker led to her decision to jump right in. And noodler extraordinaire Scooter Bivens was all for it. Scooter Bivens' real job, Cotton County Fireman. That's his job. His passion is noodling. His grandfather taught his father a hay hauler. We'd be in the field and be hot and miserable and he'd kind of surpass us and say, or entice us and say, you know, well, let's get this field hauled and we'll go to Red River or we'll go to the creek and go noodling. And so us kids would hump up and we'd get the work done and then we'd go have some fun. Fun. For Scooter, this is fun. He's been noodling for 40 years, more than a few scrapes along the way. I've been beaver bit and I've been stabbed by fish and had to stay the night in the hospital. I'm glad I stayed in the boat. My 7 News co-worker? I'm nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> I just want to catch a fish. Nervous excitement. <laughs> Who would have thought Sylvia Corkill had a secret desire to plunge into these murky waters? and fish with her hands. Scooter and his partner Tommy went first. They searched and searched and didn't catch anything. We had a slow start and that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Uh, we went out and made probably three quarters of a mile of beating the dirt and wading waist deep in the mud and the silt looking for the holes. Catfish live in holes and when you find one, your goal, sounds crazy, is to get them to bite you. It's a rush now when you go in there and you start going in a hole and before you even go in, well, he's, he'll come out and grab you. Grab you? <laughs> they actually bite you. And these guys live for this. An hour and a half after we put the airboat in the water, Scooter noodled or caught the first two. Then it was Sylvia's turn. First, it bit her hand. But she held on and pulled it out and it was huge, almost half her size. Oh, and she said it was cute. Uh, it's definitely not what I expected. It was scary, but at the same time, it was so much fun. Sylvia done real good today. Being a beginner, she jumped right in there like a trooper, <laughs> and uh, she come out with a 45-pound silver cat. A lot of people go their whole life and never get to say they've caught a 45-pound fish. And there's a good chance I'll be one of those people. Scooter and Tommy, by the way, go noodling as much as they can. They keep the ones they can legally keep and let the rest go. Scooter says he's got a freezer full of hand-caught catfish.